how the impressive performance it was with her victory over Han Han Oh, I feel great. I feel proud of what it's like. And I think I think uh, all the Mexicans enjoy it. And, and I feel great. Uh, I, I knew Mugia Tsunamita. Uh, he's a strong fighter. He's a man of proud. So, uh, I did what I need to do. To, to, but, uh, to, to, to win. All right, we're going to open things up for Q&A, and once again, we have time for translation. Looking the car is here to translate as well, so feel free to fire away. Danilo, tenés como algo de lo que pasó a los años que hicieron. Primero principal, sorprendente actuación, y mira que tengo años siguiéndote, sorprendente. Dicho eso, ¿cómo aprendiste el mejor en 2013? Eh, te gustaría que Jaime aprendiera de mejor que eso en este momento y, y, y diciendo lo mismo, te gustaría que Jaime, cuando tú decías que era el sea tu sucesor la verdad es que eh, va a aprender mucho esta noche va a aprender mucho Jaime es un muchacho muy valiente eh, que vino a ganar que vino a ganar que vino a ganar, que vino a ganar, que vino a entregar todo eh, yo lastimé varias veces abajo nunca se le dio eh, va a aprender mucho the question was, uh, his thoughts on Gia's performance uh, and the time being, you know, one of his best performances so far, one of his performances. Uh, and I want to say that, and yeah, he's definitely going to learn a lot. Uh, he did a good job to fund his artists. Uh, I think he's now know one of the money of times, but he's going to grow from this, he's going to learn, and he's going to be better for it. And as far as what who my successor might be in boxing, I just hope that they are here in Mexico, whether it's him or somebody else. Next question. Uh, Mike Hobbinger, ESPN. Mel, congratulations on another great victory. Uh, look, I know it was an emotional week between the press conference and all that. And given all that, how good do you feel to get this victory? Can you give you a little extra special? No, I feel, I feel great with the victory. It's good. And I think we both did a really good fight. And I feel great. I feel proud. And, and I feel uh, grateful with my, with my team, Eddie, with all my team, Raul, Boyle, uh, uh, Clutch, Dallas, uh, everybody, my team. I feel, I feel very proud of them because uh, we all. Kepo, Kepo is always with us, uh, no matter where he is at. So, I feel proud about this, this win because, you know, it's a big win for Mexico. We both are Mexicans the first time, for the first time, two Mexican fight by four girls. So, I feel proud about it. I, I, I think the people enjoy a lot. Uh, 
guys the learning experience, yes, and he must have learned anything from, you know, each fight I had, so that was good at one of these. And Manolo said that, you know, I didn't know this very well. I always had to get good things out of every fight, and then with this one, I still have to process it, I can't really go into that much detail, but I think it's very, very important for this fight, because he was hurt, and he still came forward, he still tried. And being that brave is something that I admire him. Two more questions. Two more questions. Straight back to the heart. Dean Rico, straight back. All the way back. Way to my Congratulations on your victory. Gotcha. I left the open when you were knocked him down in the third round. Did you think you could hit him right there? I know there was only a couple of seconds left in the round. Uh, were, you, were you coming out of the fourth round to try to end the fight? Because you had talked about the fact that you didn't get this in a few points in a row. And I had a question to follow up with Eddie when you answered. I could, I could finish a fight, yeah, but you know, I take my time, I take my time, uh, that's why it's a good round to see who's the best, and I take my time, and I, I don't want to make mistakes, so I did what I was supposed to do, to win, and, 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 and you know, when we get so fired, you need to be careful with that, I just, I just take my time. You know, I'd like to ask Eddie, Eddie, did you answer this also? Uh, also straight back. You've been Canelo from the beginning and you've seen how he's done all these years. He just keeps winning and winning and dominating. And I just wonder, what do you see in him? Is there anything that you've seen any slippage? Did you see where he can get better? Just give me your impression of the way he's fighting right now.